Lopez for Sean McCarthy! Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, I am. I, I am. I am young. I'm 25 years old. Uh, but I've been. Uh, I've been feeling like an old man lately. Uh, I've been having back problems. Uh, if you're wondering how you get back problems, it starts about a year after you think, hundred dollars for a mattress. That sounds like a deal. Uh, and I'm so. I'm so cynical about everything. Like I think what I learned from the 2008 financial crisis is that finance means you can steal money from people as long as you do it in a really boring way. Because think about it. It's easy to call 911 and go, "Hello, police. People have broken into my house." It's much more difficult to call 911 and go, hello, police. Numerous banks have been bundling high-risk mortgages together and then selling them as though they were AAA investments while ignoring the internal review processes at their bank, which have on multiple occasions alerted the CEOs of these banks that fraud was occurring, and yet these CEOs still signed off on the revenue statements in clear violation of the Sarbanes-Oxley Act. <laughs> I'm in the lobby at Citigroup. When will the squad car get here? <laughs> and now we have, but now we have like this bad economy and people blame poor people. Like sometimes I turn on TV and somebody on TV will say, poor people are lazy. It's like person on TV, you talk for a living. That is literally the laziest job on earth. Nobody's ever lifted a hundred pounds of a flight of stairs for work and gone, whew, damn. At least I don't have to give anyone my opinion. <laughs> Or they, say, or they say my generation is lazy. My generation. My generation's social security is going to be bankrupt by the time we're supposed to retire. Many of us are going to have to work forever. We're not lazy. We're pacing ourselves. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't understand a lot. I don't understand why we use the term cocksucker as an insult. Like, what are you really saying when you call somebody a cocksucker? Like, hey, you seem like the kind of person that be willing to breathe through your nose for 10 minutes to make someone feel good. You hear that? I don't think you're a selfish lover. It's like, why do, why do we use that as an insult? People say things like, oh, you see that new Coen Brothers movie? Yeah, it sucked dick. It wasn't that good. Yeah. I have some uh, some nerdy hobbies. Nerdy hobbies kind of have a weird relationship with women. Like uh, I've heard dudes say things like, "Girls don't really like nerdy stuff. They just pretend they do because they want male attention." It's like you think they want that kind of male attention. <laughs> They're thinking, you know, what would make my life better if I was hit on by more people with Asperger's syndrome. <laughs> Man, I'm so tired of pretending I want to level my D&D &D paladin. Just so I can keep smelling Greg's trench coat. <laughs> Trying to eat less garbage. I was eating a burger at McDonald's and on the box it said, Grilled to perfection. It's like, has anybody ever eaten at McDonald's and thought, there was nothing that could have been done to improve that meal? <laughs> My favorite meal at McDonald's is the McDark spot on your x-ray. <laughs> I saw a commercial for McDonald's. They had a guy sitting and looking exhausted, and he had one of those iPhone low battery icons in the top right corner, and then he uh, drank this McDonald's iced coffee, and his battery icon recharged. It's like, are corporations even pretending they don't think we're machines anymore? <laughs> Like, what's the next commercial? You don't need health care. Just put yourself in a bag of rice. <laughs> yeah, um, I've been living in New York City for uh, a couple years now. Uh, obviously very expensive. I think I first realized how expensive New York is. Uh, not long after I moved, I started seeing multiple different posters for a lost dog with a $1,000 reward. Really puts things in perspective when you realize every month to survive in this city, you could work 160 hours at a minimum wage job, or you could kidnap one dog. <laughs> you kidnap three dogs, you're middle class. <laughs> so, uh, I saw that most recent uh, Woody Allen movie, that was pretty good. But you ever, like, you ever wonder what would Woody Allen be doing if he wasn't such a successful filmmaker? 
And then you're like, oh yeah, prison time. <laughs> He writes such romantic movies, though. You watch him and you're like, man, I wish I understood love like this child sex predator does. <laughs> I, like, uh, I like being in bars. Uh, I was in a bar once, they had an arcade punching bag machine. And on it, it said, if you beat the high score on the punching bag, you'll get a $30 credit towards your bar tab. Because if there is one person we want to be extremely drunk, <laughs> it is the strongest and most violent person who has ever been in that bar. <laughs> I'd like to, to end with, with something inspiring to me. So I'll say, uh, I take the subway to work almost every day, and almost every day there's this same crazy guy who's always smiling and always playing the same three Beatles covers on his guitar. And uh, it's amazing, because he doesn't even like touch the guitar with his fingers. The strings are plucked by the vibrations of John Lennon rolling in his grave. <laughs> and, uh, He's absolutely terrible. So at first I'd see him and I'd be like, oh, fuck this guy. But then I kept going to work every day. He'd still be there, still playing the same three songs, still awful and still smiling. And now he inspires me. He's genuinely the highlight of my morning because he reminds me that in order to achieve success in art, you don't have to achieve anything or even be that good. You just have to keep doing it until it slowly drives you insane. <laughs> And so that's my goal for my comedy. I just want to keep doing this until the day that I can honestly believe it when I tell people I am the greatest comedian ever to live. <laughs> and that's why the Illuminati is trying to kill me. <laughs> All right, you guys have been so great. Thank you so much.